the dairy industry does have some some challenges facing them over the course of the next uh, 20, 30 years as, as uh, world populations increase. Uh, projections are that there will be uh, 9 billion people on the planet by 2050. And so meeting those growing demands for dairy products in a way that is sustainable, in a way that provides the demand, but does so in a way that takes into consideration uh, sustainability issues uh, and environmental concerns specifically are going to be important for the dairy industry in order to maintain uh, a level of uh, production that is acceptable to society and the needs of conservation generally. You mentioned the issues of scale and efficiency and they are indeed really at the core of the business. Uh, I would m also mention uh, the issue of volatility of prices uh, and which are here now and are projected to be here with us for some, some time to come. Um, prices uh, of milk, which is among the highest vi volatility in, in agricultural sector, but also prices at the level of feed uh, and, and therefore also volatility of the ratio between the price of milk and the price of feed uh, and price of course of course of uh, oil and energy. Well the biggest challenge that uh, dairy farmers face globally is uh, by far income stability. Uh, we have uh, for sure seen huge price volatility on the world market and uh, this is uh, going to continue so we have to find the means and the marketing and the policies that will create a much better environment to allow the farmers to invest, to look at how they can invest in new technology, how they can invest for increasing productivity and increasing their efficiencies. The growth is coming, especially bringing by other liquidated products, which is basically driven by products with based milk formulations. And by saying that, it's very it's crucial that Tata Pak is supporting our customers in order to bring a higher efficiency to achieve, to support the dairies to attend this demand. And improving efficiency, improving our equipment, and also offering best customer service is crucial for the next future. Due to the input prices going up, we see the land prices, we see energy prices and commodity prices. At the same time, the companies that are playing within the food value chain are becoming bigger and stronger in negotiations. And what we also are seeing is that the consumers want functionality and value, but they don't want to pay for it. If you have a healthier cow, a more comfortable cow, you will produce higher quality milk and much more milk at the same time. So there's an economic benefits to actually address some of these issues and use whatever technology is necessary to increase your efficiency in addressing it because the benefits is to both the general population and the farmer himself. Any company that will be surviving into the next decade, they need to supply smart solutions, combining the cost effectiveness with the functionality all at the same time delivering an environmentally friendly solution. Automation and information technology has had a huge impact on our dairy business today. Uh, we know that over the last 30-40 years uh, dairy production has really gone through the roof and the reason for that is that we have on the one hand better genetics, nutrition, and healthcare but on the other hand much better automation and information technologies um, and that has really led to a situation where today just to give you a simple comparison the average California cow produces 20,000 pounds of milk the average Mexican cow produces 4,000 pounds of milk so it basically takes five Mexican cows to produce the same amount of milk as one California cow and that really has very large environmental consequences because if you need five cows on the one side to produce the same amount as one cow on the other side then you can imagine that you produce way more waste way more enteric gases and so on in the less efficient system. Milk demand is, about, is increasing by about 15 million tons a year and it's mostly happening in developing countries and, and there uh, things such as um, basic technical packages at the level of production, you think about feeds, uh, genetics, health, um, for example, or um, 
yeah, efficiency in the use of, uh, of energy, but also in the supply chains uh, to reduce losses, for example, are really key to have small holders uh, engaged. Certainly, information technology and technology in general is going to be very critical to the dairy industry moving forward. Um, we see technology as an important way for the industry to increase um, efficiencies, which are going to be important, but also that relates to um, sustainability and driving sustainability into the system to meet this demand and do it in a way that matches um, what the population needs in terms of food supply, but also to manage that in a way that, again, manages the resources to be able to provide that uh, source of, of food and, and milk products that, that the world will demand. We really need to take a holistic view on the, the how we use the resources on this world. As the population is growing and the resources are, are being the same, we need to see the best way of using these resources together. And Tetra Pak is actively partnering with our customers, with our suppliers, with governments and also with environmental organizations to really come up with and support to bring the best environmental solutions to the market. And Tetra Pak is being a global company what we really can do is to identify and see different environmental solutions around the world and implement them to the benefit of our customers. In order to be financially sustainable, dairies are growing in size. So what happens is that dairies today are larger in size than they have been in the past. And what this really means is that um, society is, is starting to have issues. What they um, perceive, what the public perceives is that the size of the dairy is directly correlated to poor welfare and environmental impact. Whether that's true or not is under debate. In fact, we think it's not true, but uh, society is assuming that it's the case. And so uh, with respect to environmental quality, I'm an air quality specialist, and so I study the impacts dairies have on air quality or climate change issues. And uh, I find that size is really not uh, related to, uh, to that type of impact. The dairy industry needs to take consideration of the full breadth of issues facing them. So the financial viability aspects, the social responsibility, as well as environmental concerns. And so applying that, what we call a triple bottom line approach, which is kind of the common vernacular, is important considerations and take those full breadth of considerations. And so um, specifically as it relates to environmental concerns, water issues, um, greenhouse gas emissions, all those sort of things need to be taken into consideration as they work towards meeting those demands for society as, as well as their, their business needs and, and this, the uh, financial viability of their operations.